share with you guys to make story time a little bit fun and I, being online on the computer is way less interactive than it is in person but I want to share our new baby chicks with you so do you want to grab one yeah I don't know if you can see this we're gonna pull some of uh, one or two of them out so you can see them but they're really cute. A lot of you might already have your own chicks, but baby chicks are really cool to look at no matter what. Oh. <laughs> so let's see, there's a couple of baby chicks. Oh, do you want... this one's name is Angel. Angel. And this one's name is Freya. <laughs> so they're really awesome. And then, Let's see. Oh, or just jump. <laughs> we can't say mother. This one is Barbarosa. And this one is Cluck Norris. <laughs> And this one is Bo. So, yeah. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. So we have one more book we're going to do. And... Domo the Rabbit. There's Zoma the Rabbit. Zomo. Zoma the rabbit. He is not big, he is not strong, but he is very clever. Time was. Zomo wanted more than cleverness. He wanted wisdom. He went to Sky God and asked for it. There's Sky God and Zomo. Zomo, it is not so simple, said Sky God. To get wisdom, you must earn it. How? asked Zomo. You must do three impossible things, answered Sky God. First, bring me the scales of big fish in the sea. Second, bring me the milk of wild cow. And third, bring me the tooth of leopard. I will try, said Zomo. And there he is, off to do those three impossible things. Zomo went to the edge of the sea. He began to play his drum. He played so loud his drum beats went down to the bottom of the sea. Deep below, Big Fish heard the music of the drum. There's Big Fish. Big Fish came up out of the water. He danced on the sand. Faster and faster, Zomo beat his drum. And faster and faster, Big Fish danced. Now if you can see what's happening here, Big Fish danced so fast, his scales came off. Big Fish was naked. And remember, the scales of Big Fish are one of the things that Zomo has to do to get wisdom. <clears throat> Splash! Big Fish jumped back into the, back into the sea. Quickly, Zomo scooped up the fish scales in his hat and hopped into the forest. In the forest, Zomo climbed a palm tree. He looked around, then he saw a wild cow. There he is in the palm tree. There's wild cow. Ha, laughed Zomo. You are not so big, you are not so strong. 
Who is that laughing at me? asked Wild Cow. It is me, called Zomo. I say you are not even strong enough to knock down this little tree. I think Zomo is trying to set up Wild Cow. Wild Cow got angry. She ran at the tree and knocked it down. Thump! She hit that tree. But the palm tree was soft. Her horns got stuck. Quickly, Zomo slid down the tree. He turned his drum upside down and filled it with milk. By the time Wild Cow got unstuck, Zomo was far away. So, Zomo tricked the fish into getting his scales and the cow into getting her milk. So that's two of the three things that, what, that Zomo needs to do to get wisdom, right? Zomo took the, the path to the top of a high hill. It was the hill where Leopard walked every day. Zomo tipped his hat and sprinkled a few scales on the path. A few of the scales from the fish, right? Zomo tipped his drum and spilled a few drops of milk on the path. The milk from the cow. Then Zomo went to the bottom of the hill and he hid behind a rock and waited. Soon, Leopard came walking over the hill. He slipped on the slippery scales and the milk. Whoa, look what's happening. He rolled down the hill. Bump. Leopard hit the rock. His tooth popped out. Up jumped Zomo. He caught that tooth. Quickly, he hopped away. So, now he has the tooth. So he got the scales from the fish, the milk from wild cow, and the tooth from leopard. And those were the three things that Sky God said that he had to do to get wisdom. Zomo took the scales of big fish, the milk of wild cow, and the tooth of leopard to Sky God. Sky God smiled upon Zomo. You were clever enough to do the impossible, he said. Now I will give you wisdom. Sky God spoke and Zomo listened. There, three things in this world are worth having. Courage, good sense, and caution, said Sky God. Little Rabbit, you have lots of courage, a little bit of sense, but no caution. So next time you see big fish or wild cow or leopard, better run fast. Zomo is not big, Zomo is not strong, but now Zomo has wisdom and he is very, very fast. So that concludes this week's story time. I can't wait to see everybody as soon as we can. So stay tuned um, and uh, I'll see you soon. Have an awesome day.